007's first mission was to get through the hordes of fans who waited patiently outside his caravan all day long. Never seeming to refuse an autograph request, Roger Moore sometimes had the film crew tearing their hair as time ticked away. It's costing £10,000 an hour to make Octopussy. Like all Bond films, it attracts the world's press, and they're all eager for that glossy photo which will tell it all. Octopussy, as the name implies, is yet another completely improbable 007 story. Enough to say there are goodies, baddies, pouting starlets, and plenty of chasing by everyone. Turn over. Running. Okay. One, eight, four, take one. Some of the chasing goes on and in a train crossing the east-west border in Germany. Hence the need for a railway setting. Wandsford has been transformed to become Karl Marx station. The film introduces several new Bond beauties, women like Magda, played by Christina Weyborn. It's going beautifully, except I caught a little bit of a cold, you know, the other day. It's been awfully cold out on location, so... What part do you play and what do you do? I play the part of Magda, and it's a very physical role. Mm -hmm. It's um, a lot of horseback riding stunts, Indian dancing, and um, going off of balconies in Indian saris and a lot of a lot of things like that. So you must be very fit. I, I hope so. I pray I'm fit. <laughs> yes. The film requires 60 extras and there are plenty of volunteers. Some in Russian army uniform stand about rather self-consciously. <laughs> To get three minutes of usable film in one day is good going. This scene lasts about 15 seconds, but took two hours to make. The actor here is Kabir Bedi, who will be seen later this year in the television series Dynasty. The Neen Valley Railway has played host now to four film companies, but this is the biggest production so far. The crew have been setting up for six weeks. Hiring the railway out like this provides valuable income to the trust. But while it's all a spectacle to the onlooker, it must be boring to a man who's played James Bond six times now. I'm not fed up with it. I have two years off in between each one, so I don't. I really, I really don't get fed up with it. Well, I don't expect you to give away the plot, but what's it about? It's about this agent called James Bond who is licensed to kill and his code number is 007. Well, we know all that, right? <laughs> oh. Well, you see, the, there is a villain. It's, well, I don't know, it's very difficult. Most of the action takes place uh, centered around a traveling circus, which is owned by a lady called Octopussy. And she has given her name to this circus. Who gave her her name, I don't know. But anyway, uh, and because it's Bond, there are lots of octopuses. Uh, they are uh, trained acrobats who also happen to be very beautiful young ladies. And they are, they're fairly lethal too. And it would appear that one mad Russian, against the wishes of the other Russians, is going to do something that could spark off a nuclear war. Plenty of stunts and thrills are promised in this section of the film and one includes a rather unorthodox train ride for Roger Moore. It's enough to give his insurance man a coronary. I'm pleased to report though that all went well and Octopussy will hopefully reach the cinema in June of next year.